On today's Men of the Apes, we're going to get the tease done in one. Welcome to Men of the Apes, the daily podcast where we break down every minute of the Planet of the Apes movies one minute at a time. I'm Todd, and we got that tease there in go. one try. I know. Man, when we took Richard out of the equation, things just got much smoother. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you know what? You can finish the rest of the week alone. Too, uh-huh. that. Yeah, well, you threw me under the bus yesterday, so I at least had to kick you in the balls once. <laughs> all right, it's Thursday. How is everyone today? All right. Doing all right. Are we happy? Nice and hydrated. Are we happy? <laughs> Are we okay? <laughs> it's a complex question. You know, have we? <laughs> let's see. In all these podcasts, have we ever had a tiff among the three of us? I think the only thing, the only time we ever did was when we talked about Promising Young Woman. That no, film that you didn't like it. You didn't like it. Film. Oh yeah, I hate that film. I really enjoyed it. I just, anyway, but but it was I, I was just sitting there thinking. So I was like, have we ever had moments where I was like, fuck you, fuck you, and I don't think we've ever really done that. No, I so. think last week I said fuck you to, to you. Well, kind you of did, a, but kind of would, abruptly. Kind well, of it was <laughs> it was funny. It yeah. was, I remember that comedy. Comedy is hard sometimes. Should we try an episode one time where we fight with each other and just see if we can make it work? Mommy and Daddy fight, are fight, fighting. Fight. Kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> All right. Minute 79, Sean, tell us what's going on. All right. We start minute 79 with Aldo saying, No, they shall keep the guns and end with Caesar discovering how Corny died. All right. Here it comes. Minute 79, battle for the Planet of the Apes. No, we shall keep the guns. Move, Caesar, or we shall kill you. Ape has never killed ape, let alone an ape child. Aldo has killed an ape child. The branch did not break. It was cut with a sword. As of minute 79, we have a surprisingly alive village worth of apes and humans, plus a much smaller ghost city's worth of radioactive people. All right, so visually, we get shots of the humans in the crowd. Caesar and Aldo back and forth. Lisa and Virgil looking on with a quadrology? Actually, there may be even a fifth gorilla behind them. We get the shot that I think may be the most telling shot of the producers to their public when we see a mother human clutching the child to her side since they wanted this to be much more of a kitty film. We have Caesar moving in towards Aldo, the back and forth, just back and forth of close-ups till Virgil finally tells everyone what he knows. We get a zoom in, oddly, that stops to Aldo, and the gorillas lower their rifles before we finish the zoom in to Aldo and Caesar basically huffing and puffing. And so here we are. We finally are at the moment that it, it really the film, I think, probably has built more of a narrative around, which is the death of Cornelius, Aldo doing it. Now Virgil has put two and two together. Not that he didn't get the information. Yeah, I mean, uh, he just is making a big leap there. Because, I mean, couldn't uh, Aldo just say, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, that's exactly it. You know, you've got a character with information, yet it was McDonald that we saw that examined Examining the, the branches. Tree, yeah. Why is, okay, and you want to even make, why is Virgil the one with it? Why is it McDonald saying that? that could, then Aldo could be like, it's a human, make him shut up. And, you know, this, that's a much more direct correlation between the information he has to what's told. So 
what what's really what's really missing in this moment is Caesar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're, we're, I, I, the, mm, okay, so the the logic that the entire crowd has to follow uh, 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 to cra- know uh, uh. that he's referencing Cornelius, that the branch that Cornelius somehow died from a tree fall, that from a branch that was cut that suddenly is a reveal from Virgil to incriminate Aldo Mm -hmm. is just rushed and sudden and doesn't have any, it has a place in this moment, Mm -hmm. but it has a place in this moment as if it had, it it should have been discovered earlier in terms of the, the, or when, why this would be the appropriate time to reveal it now. Or Aldo could have even boasted about it. Like here it's like Caesar, get out of the way or or we will kill you. Like we killed your son, or something like that. Well, then that or he could admit it. I mean, he he hates Caesar. He wants the guns. He wants to kill the humans. So you know, why wouldn't he say, you know, I'm going to kill you just like I killed your son? I'm trying to I'm trying to remember. Like when I was watching this younger, did I did I connect? I mean, I knew that he'd killed that he broke the branch, and mm-hmm. I knew he was talking about Cornelius, <clears throat> but I don't know that I. I don't know that I put that together right away. Like it was just a little like, did I, did I, did it take me a second to follow the, the what was going on here, or did I, did I figure it out right away when I was younger? Like it, like, like it, it, it needs a little more explanation it or a does. little more, a little more power. And I, I. <sighs> well, what it needs, I think that you actually hit it with. It needs Caesar. It needs him pushing back. You know, that there's going to be this conversation. He needs to be the voice. That And there needs to be something maybe said. If you're going to have this, you know, a slow clue building delivery of the mic drop. You know, let's, Virgil's moment is a mic drop, 100%. Hey, this is what he did. If you want to get there, you have to build it. And you don't because Caesar doesn't question it. There's no, oh, wait, if that's... Uh, you killed him. You know, it needs to be that uh, you, uh, uh, clue, you know, the, somebody in the, the study with the dagger kind of moment. It builds. And instead, it's just out of nowhere, Virgil suddenly... Uh, oh, I, I get By it. the way, I've had all this information all along. Hang on. Right, right. Well, we Virgil... Uh, Vir- you know, I think Virgil's trying to stir shit. Because if you look at about seven seconds in, he reaches up and grabs No, that is Lisa. a creepy hand. Yeah, I mean, what the fuck is going on Did with that? Did you see that hand? His his hand goes up on Lisa's shoulder. Shoulder, yeah. And like, it, like, slides up and over. Ooh. And I'm like, yeah. it was creepy. So, yeah, I think Virgil's actually trying to stir move, the pot and move trying in. to get... Move in on Lisa. Yeah, so I gotta get <laughs> Caesar out of the way. You if know? I get these two men to kill each uh-huh, other, that's you're it. mine. Uh-huh. A- Ape has never killed... So, he... I, I needed I needed all well, those. Well, technically, Ape has killed Ape. If you remember in Escape from the Planet of the Apes, uh, poor Dr. Otto got killed by that sick gorilla. In the okay. Other... <laughs> ape has killed Ape. Uh, uh, I, I, I understand why this, this scene is necessary and important. I think it, it, it is great to have this here. Virgil just kind of coming out of nowhere with realization. You're right. It would have been more interesting if McDonald had said it because we Mm -hmm. saw him inspecting the tree Mm -hmm. or if there'd been a conversation between Virgil and McDonald earlier that allows Virgil to, to make this declaration. Now, if he had taken the branch and he had somehow shown it to Virgil, Mm -hmm. did these marks look like a break to you or did they look, they look more like a sword and, and, but Virgil would have had to have seen what a sword looked, you know, something, these are these are not hard to build if you think them through, but at the same time, they're necessary if you're yeah. going to do this. When he says, let alone an ape child, as the big reveal, to me, I would have liked to have had Caesar at least say Cornelius, and that would give me a reason for Virgil to say, uh, you know, the, the branch did not crack, it was cut by a sword. The branch did not break, it was cut by a sword. Like, it's something... So he, and, and so maybe instead we... And I know we're just doing this, but instead of Cornelius, if he had... If, uh, let alone a child, and if, if he had said a child, if he questioned what child are you talking about, and I mean that would have been the big eye-opening moment. Or or put the two put the two together. Let let McDonald say, ape has never killed ape, let alone an ape child. Have Caesar say Cornelius, and mm-hmm. Virgil jump in. The branch was cut. Yeah, by a sword. Build this together. Like like give give the give the interplay back and forth between the characters so yes. they realize what what's going on. And what does that also do in coming minutes? Those three are now even more connected 
because they've solved a mystery together. They have a commonality so that when we see the final minutes of this film, we understand what they have forged together. The three of them together can see truths and they can do that. It is the most subconscious of things when you do that, but it's so necessary. And they just kind of shit on it and don't let it happen by just giving it to Virgil. And I, I know they want Mandemus and Virgil to be orangutans that are all knowing. It just, it messes this moment up so badly. I mean, it, it, it is a big moment of the film. I mean, Without this, question. This, this is one of the, you fight like apes, you know, the reveal of the, of the death. Uh, the, the shot of the mother and child was just a little kind of odd. It is very odd. Uh, she's, she's basically like smothering this poor child. And the shot starts on her. <laughs> yes, she is. The child's actually fighting for breath. He starts on her and then kind of pans down to the child. Uh-huh. Um, rather than, I don't know why we had to see her first and then him. And if you're going to him, I guess it is. I don't and know if, you're, I was if you're going to do the mother to child image, I would have needed to see Lisa somehow without a child. I, you know, something that would have put the two of those things together. Well, it's also odd because we've not seen inside the corral to this point at all. We've seen through it. We've seen them hovering back here, but to suddenly jump in and why that mother feels there's not even the you don't hear the the cocking of a gun you don't hear any kind of thing that says there's impending violence that mother needs to shield the child it's just so here we go push it in there i like the uh the makeup work that roddy does at 12 seconds right after that where that's funny that i'm grimacing. exactly on that shot too yeah, i like that, it too that big grimace that he does yeah it's a new one he sort of rolls his cheeks up yeah and when he does it's almost like he's it's almost like biting your tongue is yeah. the best i can say to it so he begins to you know move away from the corral before the reveal. And there are now four more gorillas with guns trained on him that are not the same gorillas that were right. behind Aldo. So it just seems weird that they would rally these new people to come to this That's moment. That's true, because just in the minutes prior to this, those very gorillas were championing Caesar's right. Yeah, they triumph. were hailing him. Yeah. Right. And, and they loved him, but now because Aldo has said, put guns on him, you know, they've got guns on him, um... I, by the way, some of the lighting when it goes to the Virgil Lisa shots with the girls behind them makes me think that maybe that was shot on a set I instead of because oh, the gorillas yeah. are so deeply dark. Yeah. And, you know, if you then look at the sunlight of Aldo, those gorillas, it's incredibly different. So it's almost like a they pickup did. shot. Yeah, they did. It, it could have been shot at the same time they did the branch scene. That's probably, probably, that's probably, honestly probably what it probably like. said. Yeah. They, something, something messed up at the moment where they couldn't right. get Virgil's line right or dialogue right or, or audio, and they had to go back and redo the him and Lisa because she's – they both look – Lisa in particular, her, her – uh, face mask looks a little stiff or something. Something's not quite right about well, so, it. So, you know, especially if you go to a, the the shot of Roddy at roughly 26 seconds and then flip over to Lisa, his is so much more texture because it's actual ambient light. Hers is it's, so flat yeah. Yeah. because it just is light coming I down. didn't catch that, but good catch. Yeah, they, they're suddenly not there anymore. You know, I, I also want to take a moment to do what we've done before too with Roddy. I think his little stammering around that he does in some of his close-ups when he's trying to to really take in everything that's happened. I think that it's fantastic. It's as great as anything he's done before between that grimace, but that stammering. Again, if he were given a more involved presence within the scene instead of just taking in information. Now, I know he'll, he'll react accordingly, but at the same time, he just sort of stands there. So the, the, I, I mentioned the fact that there wasn't enough to kind of explain to the audience what's going on. But when he says ape has never killed alone, let alone an ape child, we see the gorillas that have their guns trained on Caesar pull their guns down before he completes the phrase that the branch was cut mm -hmm. or, or, yeah, it was cut by a sword or broke, uh, it, it broke by a sword. Um, then we kind of move in with, with Aldo kind of like, oh shit, it's happening. Mm -hmm. He's doing some really, really nice blinks, but everybody's reacting is that they already figured this out. Yeah, that's true. Based upon that one piece of information, killed an ape child. But you know what? Those gorillas might have been in that moment. They might be aware that, oh, crap, we're now being revealed for the death of Cornelius. So now I do think that, you know, as we see the reactions of the, the gorillas, what I did like, you know, you go back when they lower their rifles, you go back to the moment when around the campfire right before Corny falls from the tree 
we we noticed some of the girls are kind of like when he was saying things like you know kind of overthrowing things they were like uh wait hang on what are you talking about so i like their reactions here but as you were saying it i thought how could you do this and make it pay off why why isn't aldo taking out his sword at this point maybe hacking a tree or anything like that that visually could you could see you know there's something that could happen with him trying